Hi, I'm Meena and uh, I wrote a book called The Gypsy Goddess and it ate away six years of my life. <laughs> Yeah, um, it's a it's a it's a story about the Kilwen Mani massacre of uh, what happened in this Christmas Day, 1968, when 44 untouchable agricultural labourers, especially women and children, were burned to death by a group of landlords who were fighting for their rights. So this was a very gruesome story to begin with, and I wanted to write it, but I didn't want to write it in, as just a gruesome. <laughs> caste clash, caste atrocity book, but as something that was, I think, compelling enough to be considered as literature. I'm, invo I'm worried about, uh, you know, issues of caste and issues of violence and um, the history of communism in Tamil Nadu where I come from. So if I had to tell the story of these things that mattered to me, yes, that's why I wrote this. But the honest answer is that I suffered reading all these Indian novels which are, you know, set in university campuses or set in all these small towns where basically nothing happens. So, you know, you read this story where yeah, two people meet for coffee on page 50 and by page 150 they still not slept with each other or you read, you know, <laughs> I mean, it, it just gets frustrating beyond a point and then I thought, no, I'm not writing that kind of book. I don't know. I think, I think this is a story that, should, you know, like, it's it's really it's really moving on so many levels and um, any number of writers can attempt to say the story and why did I have to add my own voice to all the other lovely existing voices because I thought that uh, people are often shy of certain things I mean shy of, for for men you know discussing the issue of sexual abuse that existed that was trouble owning up to that was trouble for a lot of people uh, glorifying the communist movement was trouble for a lot of other people saying that caste was a huge factor, that untouchability was that real, that was trouble. So, you know, somebody with even less uh, prejudices than me would make a much better writer for the story. Uh, if, if I've ever been to any place where people are very class conscious or they really accept that class is a factor, class is a truth, then I think it's the UK that everyone does subscribe to it. So, more than anywhere else, I think peop readers here would know that class is truth and these are basically working class people who just get killed and no justice gets done. So, if, uh, so I, I believe that this class consciousness of the UK society will help them to accept or to even read or relate to the book because at the end of the story, it is a class war, it is a, it's a class struggle more than anything else. And um, uh, I, don't, I don't want to put down any group of readers for, you know, and say, oh, they just can't relate to it because, I mean, we like to read books about, you know, places I've never been to. So, I don't know if a re reader is just looking for a connection because this is a story about people, this is a story about, uh, you know, so many things.